Hello. I want to talk about the concept of family and what that means when we hear it in a sentence like, we want a family dog. Now the concept of family, the purpose of a family is to maintain the well-being of all of the members in that family, but also to provide predictability and also a structure and most of all, safety for all of those members, not just from physical harm, but also psychological harm. And it's also, the purpose of a family is also to provide for the needs of all of those members of that small community, of that family, that family group. But what does this actually mean when we say we want a family dog? Well, for dogs, this is really very different, this term and this concept. From the dog's point of view, this means that they have to obey, they've got to comply, they can't disrupt the human schedule or the human's household. They mustn't bark, they mustn't dig, they mustn't chew, they mustn't jump up <laughs> um, when they're excited to see you. I mean, they, these are all normal dog behaviours. They also mustn't pull on leash, they mustn't chase the cat. They mustn't sit on the lounge, they mustn't be on the bed, they mustn't be inside. They have to sit around at home for hours and hours on, on end with nothing productive for them to do, waiting for their human social group to come back home again. They mustn't have any choice, but they must do everything that the human says. So when we think about the term family, the concept of family, We're purely looking at it from the perspective of, perspective of the human. We're not looking at it from the perspective of the dog. And dogs are living, breathing, sentient, pain-feeling animals that feel emotions. And they're also a species in their own right and they need specific physical and mental things that they need to do every day, that they need to have provided for them. So for the purpose of this video, I just want you to think about the concept of family and how you see your dog. And instead of thinking that you want a family dog, a family dog, I'd like you to shift your intention and shift your perspective from away from your own perspective and shift your perspective towards that of your dog. And this will help you to shift your intention and help you to shift your mindset to be thinking um, as a guardian for your dog. So instead of saying we want a family dog, let's change the language that we're using and instead let's say we want to be a family for our dog. We'll talk again soon.